Hello everyone, I'm Amun Work, and today I'm really excited to share the new release of a new package called Adonis Middleware. So if you are like me and if you have an old application of Adonis, most probably you will have all of your middleware inside the directory called middleware of your application, which is really nice, but it's not maintainable. Let's imagine what time we'll be updating these middleware, we'll be adding new and you'll be required to update them manually every time. That's the re reason we we'll remove everything from your local application folder and instead we launch a new package called Adonis Middleware. And in this video, we're gonna figure out how to remove these middleware and actually make use of it. So I'm going to go, um, go to my terminal. Here I'm going to say npm i uh, Adonis Middleware and let's save it. It will take some time to save um, you like actually download it yep we have it now which means now we can remove all of these middleware and actually reference them from the newly created package so quickly i'm going to delete everything i'm going to say app http middleware all the js file and here i'm going to create a new dot git keep file to make sure actually this uh, directory is going to my version control so clear everything, come back, and out here you can see we do not have any local middleware anymore. So let's go ahead, rerun the application. It says it's serving on port 3333. And if I run, it says I'm really sorry, I'm not able to find out the middleware called codes. And that's uh, because we have registered middlewares inside this file. So what we need to do is quickly go ahead, select it and replace it with Adonis, which means now we are not referencing it from our uh, local directory structure. Instead, we want to read it from the newly created provider. So if I rerun the server, uh, we will get into an error again. Now it says unable to find Adonis middleware course. And that's because we haven't registered the provider yet. So I'm going to go to my bootstrap slash app.js file. Here I'll say Adonis middleware uh, providers app middleware provider, if I'm not wrong. So come back. Uh, it says cannot find module Adonis middleware. Oh, it needs to be providers. My bad. Yep, we got it running refresh and everything is as actually it should be so what new we have now very first uh these are the three middleware which are actually referencing from uh, the newly pro created provider not from our local directory structure with that there is also a, a new middleware called shield so uh if i'll go to uh, basically the github adonis js adonis middleware here you can see that inside the um, servers we have a new middleware called shield. Now what shield is going to do, how it's going to work, that you can read in documentation, but in order to enable it, you can say it on um, middleware shield, which will enable it for you. Uh, let's go ahead, rerun the application. Uh, refresh it says cannot read um, property CSP of null and that's because we don't have a config file for it so what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna create a new file called shield.js don't worry guys if you are creating a new application of Adonis you won't have to do all this it will be done for you but if you're like me having an old application and quickly want to upgrade to the newer version of these middleware you will have to do a little work with me out here so uh, we have three middlewares. We added the newly uh, like like a new one called Shield, and here we need to create configuration for it. I'm not doing it manually right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it from the dwelling branch of our repo called Adonis app. So if you will go to config, uh, which branch we are in master. Let's quickly switch to develop. Now go to config. And here is a file called shield.js, raw, copy it, 
paste it here. That's all you really need to done. Now npm start again, refresh, no errors, everything is fine. You can read more about Shield uh, in documentation. It has a lot of cool stuff like CSR protection, uh, CSP, like you can define which all uh, sources can actually execute their scripts, their fonts installs on the on, on your website. So that's all. Goodbye.